Pete the Cat's Got Class. It's math time, says Pete's teacher, Mr. G. Pete the Cat loves math. He loves how the numbers work together. If I add three red blocks and four yellow blocks together, how many blocks would we have in all, says Mr. G. Pete raises his hand. Seven blocks, says Pete. Three plus four equals seven. Very good, Pete, says Mr. G. Mr. G asks the class a subtraction question. If I take two blocks away from seven blocks, how many blocks will be left? Pete raises his hand, but the teacher calls on Tom. Nine, says Tom. Pete feels bad for Tom. Tom is super smart. He can name all the dinosaurs. He just has trouble with math. Pete has an idea. He will help Tom become awesome at math. Helping is cool. On the bus home from school, Pete sits next to Tom. <clears throat> Do you want to come over to play? Tom asks. I've got some cool new race cars for my birthday. Awesome, says Pete. We can do our math homework, and then we can race the cars. I hate math, says Tom. You don't hate math, Tom tells Tom. Er, you don't hate math, Pete tells Tom. You just don't love it yet. Pete sets up some blocks. If I add five blue blocks and three orange blocks together, how many blocks will I have in all? This is boring, says Tom. Can't we play with my race cars? This gives Pete a great idea. Sure we can, he says. Pete lines up some race cars. Oops, hang on. There we go. Pete lines up some race cars. If five race cars are going to the racetrack and five yellow cars are going to the car wash, how many cars are on the road, he asks. Easy, says Tom. Ten cars, like a traffic jam. Now, what if two of the cars stayed home, Pete says. How many cars would be left? Hmm, says Tom, studying the lineup. Eight cars. Right, says Pete. See, I told you that math is awesome. Pete quizzes Tom on one math problem after the next. Four cars minus one. Three, says Tom. Eight cars plus seven, says Tom Pete. Fifteen, says Tom. I can't believe it. I'm doing math, and I'm loving it. Let me... <clears throat> Pete and Tom do their homework. Let me know if you need my help, says Pete. Thanks, said Tom, but I know what I'm doing now. The next day, Pete hands in his math homework. Tom does, too. After lunch, the teacher passes back their assignments. Pete and Tom each got one wrong. I'd like to see you two after class, Mr. G says. You both know not to copy someone else's homework, says Mr. G. We didn't copy, says Pete. You both got the exact same answer wrong, Mr. G tells them. How can we prove that we got the answers on our own, says Tom. I know, Pete tells him. Bring your race cars to school tomorrow. Why, Tom asks. You'll see, says Pete with a smile. The next day, Pete and Tom get to school early. What are all the race cars for, asks Mr. G. To show you how Tom got to be so good at math, says Pete. Give Tom a math problem, Pete says. Any math problem. I'll get it right, says Tom, without Pete's help. Mr. G gives Tom one math problem after the other, and Tom uses the race cars to get all the answers right. Wow, says Mr. G. I am impressed. Pete helped me by making math fun, Tom says. I think that's something we can all learn from Pete, Mr. G says. Take it from Pete. Math is neat. Now they get all the answers right. Hope you enjoyed that. That was Pete the Cat's Got Class.